everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new to my channel today I'm going to be doing a first impression of a brand new palette that will be releasing July 4th 2019 I believe at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time at shopalterego.com and it is called the daydream palette which is a potential dupe for the Huda Beauty new nude palette now this is a total first impression letting you guys know how I feel about the formula so on both of my eyes is only this palette I will be coming back and doing is it a dupe or just a waste of money for you guys so, anyways if you guys are interested to know my thoughts my feelings my opinions my everything I think that's all then let's go ahead and get started okay guys so getting right into each swatch of the daydream palette by alter ego you can see they swatch absolutely beautiful and I have to say guys these shimmers almost have like a a cooling effect when you swatch them I cannot wait to put these on my eyes so of course we're gonna go ahead get into the application process talk a little bit about the palette and let's go ahead and get started okay guys so like I said this palette is called the daydream palette by alter ego this is the inside of the palette it is absolutely beautiful and of course you guys know I'm going to do a whole video on is it a dupe or just a waste of money up against the Huda new nude palette this is the palette I'm gonna go ahead and do a side-by-side -side for you guys but like I said it's gonna get its own dedicated video is it a dupe or just a waste of money and I have to say like right off the bat for the alter ego palette I actually like the way that they set up the shades a little bit more than Huda did in her palette only because you know I'm one of those people that when I look at packaging or palettes or something I don't always see like a cohesiveness to it or like instant looks if that makes sense there, there's some palettes that I feel like are almost a little bit overwhelming I'm like how am I going to create a look with that or what have you but I feel like with this I love the way like right off the bat my eyes instantly go to these six matte shades right here and like I said when it came to the swatching of these like shimmery shades they just just felt like almost cooling to a touch and like buttery as they like you know would glide across my skin for the swatch so I am absolutely so excited here is one thing that had me all kinds of excited when I received this palette is this right here Do you guys see this let's see here right here that's a concealer shade. Now you guys know I have done is it a dupe or just a waste of money in the past with other palettes that are really good comparable dupes to the Huda New Nude palette, but they didn't have the concealer in here. So this has me really excited because it does have the concealer and it's one of those that, and we're definitely going to use it today, where you can still see a little bit of, and I don't think my camera's going to pick it up, a little bit of the pigmentation here. I'm definitely going to make sure to use the concealer right here in this palette. I have a code for you guys. As you guys know, it is an affiliate code. I don't try and hide that for you from you guys at all. It's just hot mess will save you 10%. I'll like pop hot mess up here for you guys. So this actually releases July 4th if I didn't say it in the intro because future Rhonda make sure to say that in the intro <laughs> okay so I'm gonna stop talking now I think I'll try and zoom you guys in a little bit more and start the whole application process so yeah we are up close and personal uh, I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to apply this concealer on both of my eyes not like crazy emollient you know there's some concealers that are so emollient you're like oh everything's gonna slide all over the place I don't feel like if you do have oily eye eyelids I don't think that this is going to be uncomfortable for you you're gonna go ahead and start off with the shade glow it's just a nice pretty bone white white cream shade or what have you just to set it I know you don't have to set your concealer and if you are like exciting with your eyeshadows a lot of people won't Set it. Oh, I like that. I'm not even creased. From there, I think I'm going to go ahead and jump in. I'm going to use as many shades as I can for this first impression. I'm going to go into the shade Bubbly, which is this really pretty, bright, peachy shade. And I'm just going to set that actually from the entire lid up to close to my... What is that called? That's not your brow bone, Rhonda. What is that? It is early in the morning, guys. So, um, yeah. 
Okay, so there's a little peachy shade. We're gonna go into the sun kiss shade. There's a little bit, like if I dig like a monster into my eyeshadow palette, you will see a little bit of kick up, but I'm very heavy handed, no doubt about that. But I'm just tapping the brush and I don't see any fallout on my face either, so we love that. Okay, so I think we've got like a nice little face down. I'm going to go in with the shade Daybreak over here lightly. I'm going to look down and just kind of buff it into here. I mean, you guys can see this blends out really nice. And I don't have like mad blending skills at all because I'm not professional. I'm not. I'm just an enthusiast. So whatever's left on my brush, I am going to kind of pop that underneath the eye. And then the last thing that I do want to do is I do want to add this beautiful sugar plum shade right here. It's like this deep berry and it's so pretty. I'm just going to dab that right Every time I say that, I literally want to dab, but I know my children and their friends watch my content and they'll be like, mom. And I'm like, okay, fine. Pull it together, sis. Don't do it. So I'm just going to dab it right through here. Oh, she had to. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Now, I feel like typically purpley shades, those are like the ones you expect to get more. I mean, I granted it's like a pinky purple, but I feel like those are the ones you expect to be a bit on the patchy side it's not now I'm gonna take this crazy big fluffy brush and kind of start to blend that a little bit because I don't want too harsh of a line and I'll go in I think with a lighter shade and dabbing oh my god I have to stop I have to stop fluffing it So with that big fluffy brush, I am going to try and calm it down a smidge by mixing the bubbly shade and the glow shade together and then just kind of putting it up there just so it's not as like bold. I mean, it's still bold. Don't get me wrong, but now I'm just going in with this glow shade right here just for the brow bone. Let's go in with we're gonna go with star crossed and fairy tale so these this is star crossed this is fairy tale so fairy tale i'm going to put more in the middle and this close to my tear duct and i'm going to just do my finger on this side to see oh yeah it picks up beautifully that's so pretty and then out of curiosity let's do the other shade with my olimar brush this is the brush i always use for these kind of shades oh that's wow okay that that that's good this is really good guys and then I'm just going to use like the warmth of my finger to kind of blend them together then over here I'm gonna go with fairy tale on the Alamar brush you know what you can pick up a lot with your finger and you do a decent amount with this Alamar brush but I think the way it lays is a bit softer than when I packed it on with my finger. Cause that's one thing I have to watch is because you know, obviously I have mature lids so I don't want it to look too textured. So you can definitely see a difference the way it lays. If you guys have mature lids, I think that uh, you will like applying this with a brush versus your finger. I mean, just you guys can see really nice, really soft and doesn't accentuate the texture. So again, just going to merge them together. Yeah. I, I packed a punch doing it with my finger on this side. And like I said, you guys can see there's a bit more texture here than on the Olimar side. Not the end of the world, not a big deal. I just want to show you guys, look at the difference. Can you guys, I'll have to see if I can zoom in when I'm editing, but you can definitely see a big difference packing it on versus not packing it on. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get my lashes and my liner on and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back. I wanna give you guys my final thoughts. Um, this video is a little, or done a little bit differently than I typically do. You guys just saw, literally it is um, it's 2.05 in the afternoon. Hey, excuse me. There you go. It's 2.05 in the afternoon. Uh, when I was filming the application process, it was like 
6 50 7 o'clock in the morning and then i had to be out the door by like 20 to 8 this morning so i didn't get a chance to come back and film the outro or the intro not that you guys really actually know that but i'm just letting you guys know i thought that this would be a great time to be able to zoom in so you guys can see after wearing this shadow for a little over i believe seven hours uh, how everything held up i do want to let you guys know that you guys know I'm going through a bit of stress right now in my life with losing my job, trying to figure out what I'm going to do, like trying to find a new job, all of that good stuff. So um, there was two or three times today while I was out that I got a little emotional and started to cry. So when I zoom you guys in and you see that my, my lashes look a little wonky, <laughs> that would be because your girl was crying a little bit. But I have to say, let me just zoom you guys in. Hopefully it is focusing. For um, crying, which I mean, yeah, my mascara is pretty messed up over here, but would you look at the way the eyeshadow lasted? I mean, is that not, that to me that's pretty amazing because I was like tissue dabbing and all of that stuff up through here. Um, this is literally guys, like I said, after seven hours, seven plus hours. Let me go ahead and zoom you guys out and give you guys my final thoughts and everything. Okay, so you guys know that this is a first impression video. This is the, the July 4th is the day that this palette actually launches. If you use code hot mess, uh, that is again, I know I already mentioned it, but you guys know I'm queen of repeat. That is an affiliate link. And I have to tell you guys first impressions. I love it. I absolutely love it. I do have a little bit of glitter fallout here and there, but again, I mean, it's glitter. It's not like I used um, any type of special glitter primer, glue, uh, or even a spray. You guys know I typically just don't do that. And again, when you use a brush to pat, and you're even sometimes even your finger, you're going to have things like that happen. So I think overall, I've seen glitter all over, all over my face look much, much worse. This is just like countable specks here and there. And you guys know I love sparkle and I love anything that glitters. So hmm, there's that. I loved the mattes. I thought the mattes blended out very, very nicely. They're very pretty. They're very, very pigmented. Obviously, after seven hours plus being emotional, you see longevity is definitely there. Creasing. I don't see any like funky creasing that you would sometimes see. I think that the concealer was absolutely wonderful in this palette. It worked really well. I will say that it was one of those things where I was curious like is this concealer and this Daydream palette, is it potentially going to crease on me? It is 90 some degrees out today guys here in Kentucky. I know, I know, you're shocked. It's July, it's July 2nd when I'm filming this and um, I feel like we finally hit summer. It, it was like stuck in winter and spring for a very long time here. So anyways, I have to say my first impression of the Alter Ego Daydream Palette, it's absolutely wonderful. It's amazing and beautiful. I love, like I said, how I felt like these shimmers when I was swatching them. They had like this really soft, like coolness to them, wet feeling, almost like a wet feeling. And you guys can see it's like a really pretty wet glimmer on the eye. So anyways this is definitely hot mess mom approved but as i always say just because i like something or i approve something i mean money's tight not all of us can just spend willy-nilly you know and don't feel like you have to go out and buy every palette that releases guys so i do like this palette i like that on the back you do get the names of everything inside you get the gram weight you get you literally get everything if i didn't mention already this is cruelty free and does have an expiration of 12 months please make sure to subscribe to my channel because i will be doing is it a dupe or just a waste of money where i do put these two up against each other and i'm really excited to play with the formulas if you guys are new to is it a dupe or just a waste of money that's where i take one formula on one side one formula on the other side we do a wear test on it and everything so last palette release I did a first impression using my iPad and a lot of you guys said it was really hard to see the technique and everything so I thought this is perfect I got it early enough I can get this video up for you guys all information down below that when it releases which I believe is July 4th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time I could be wrong again I'll have it linked and listed down below for you guys with their website shopalterego.com hot mess does save you 10% and free shipping is $25 or more to the men out there if you are listening I'm pretty sure your woman's gonna want this just saying 
or maybe some of the other palettes. You just never know. Anyways, guys, until next time, as always, have a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed day. Kisses from Kentucky. Bye.